Ah, uh, we got the ultimate uh, fun crapper guy here. Lodi Lodo Landios. He's a. Uh, not sure what that is. Take that. I don't want to use the trap. Um, this is not very useful. Okay. Could be decent. So we can play a smuggler. Hog smuggler. Unkampf. Nanda. Uh oh. I just moved that. Unfortunately, I can't boost this because it might just die. This is a decent combo. If I can set this up, it works. Pretty well. Holy crap. Really? Wow. I think we're gonna let it happen. But first we're gonna start with the Dryad Matron and boost it. Then we play another Dryad Matron. Then we start playing the Watchers. Actually, the Watch... The, 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 just the name Watcher makes me uh, want to replay Pillars of Eternity 1. Oh my god, no. And now we are screwed. Very screwed. Oh, I'm dumb. I forgot that I don't have hero power. Uh, we gotta pass. This is too bad. How silly of me. Imper of the gate! This guy's uh, pretty good, actually. Spheres. It's called Spheres in uh, German, apparently, as well. You haven't seen Usurper in a while? He's the ultimate boring guy. That's a good thing. N not that <laughs> not that he's very boring, but that you haven't seen him. I'm <laughs> boosted by two. Wow. Okay, let's go be a smuggler. This could be pretty decent. But the likelihood that he's gonna push me is is high. This crap again. I don't even have moves. I gotta play the Antibur because the Antibur might even kill this. And also, it's a impactful play. Okay, we can play a Watcher or a Dried Matron. Let's play a Watcher. Right. Yeah, let's play a Watcher. I'm trying to kill the Alba Pikeman. I'm not sure where we're gonna play the Dryad Matron. I think we're gonna play the Dryad Matron in the front. Pretty annoying. If we do that, we also protect the smuggler for a little bit. The tree can help us to not lose a card. And uh, of course, uh, the ant bear, the tree and boar, is uh, gonna get two points 
When he moves, he gets plus one. Another plus two here. Deleting some dumb crap. It's just not gonna work for him. So this moves. It's that. Moves at the end. So we're gonna be at 21. If we get Malcolm Horn plus uh, Crushing Trap, that's really good. Uh, maybe we're just gonna play an elf. So we hit. We need eight points. So this moves back. We get we get one. This hits. Uh, we get one again. This gets played. This is gonna be a six plus another move. So this should do it, right? This is technically a 6, but we also get a, a move out of it. Yeah, there's pass. And the, the tree got boosted quite a lot. He did achieve a short run free, which is annoying. This is the only move he got. Some decent cards in there. I don't know if I want the trap on its own. What would I replace the crushing trap for? The only problem with this is that I don't necessarily have enough units for all the traps. Yeah, that's definitely not a good trade. And I don't have an opener. We might just start with the fall group here. But we're gonna be in the same situation. We're gonna have nothing to hit. I might you might just think that's a Mahakam horn. He played two melee guys. He played one range lock, range uh, lock unit. I should I should not say locked. It was fine in the past, but it's not fine. Range restricted. It's not not even restricted. It's range preference, I suppose. Hmm. I don't think he has a rule he has to play on now. I'll just go with that guy for now. That Pyco name for the Muggler? Smuggler? <laughs> Almost got him! Schmetter fall? Good god, what is this translation? What? It's proper German! <laughs> Don't you play the game in German? Rip, big tree. Worth it. What does it translate to? Let's see. My translator fucked up again.
retranslate. Damn, for some reason it's not working. Uh, actually, well, it's not the best. Mahakam Horn. This way he doesn't know which one is the Mahakam Horn. Wait, hopefully I don't have to move the enemy. He's just gonna play everything in the back and we're gonna be good. It's kind of German, I wouldn't call that proper though. <laughs> Oh my god, no. Oh, that's all I got. This Entrite trap is so annoying. Yes! Dead Leo! Who told me that Leo always finds a mark? He was wrong. Not if you run the uh, other guy with him. GG! Pretty good. We got him. He had no chance. What do we have here? Okay, Calvite. This could be a decent combo. Uh, we don't want to play the trap. Hmm. Not the best. And he burned a horn? Yeah! Even despite that, you managed to win. That's pretty good. The anti-synergy in that guy's deck won you that game. <laughs> no! Come on, don't say that. Say that I'm skillful. That this deck is awesome. That's what I would like to hear. No one says that. Despite we're winning uh, quite a lot. Uh, let's just go with the Enter Bear. He might get killed. What kind of anime is this? <laughs> well, it's, a, it's a pretty weird one. Just a mystical Witcher anime uh, that's actually uh, only has German text. I want to play this deck, but I'm short on tree and boar. Well, I'm really glad to hear that uh, you want to uh, play something cool. I, I don't really have uh, replacements for them. I usually struggle quite a lot just to optimize the deck. And uh, if you want to be extremely competitive with it, but I suppose you're going to need uh, all the cards. But you might be able to find replacements. Maybe you throw in a fog instead of the bear, I don't know. The, the bear makes a lot of sense because the watchers uh, synergize with it. Also it's pretty good. It's kind of like the anti-Ragnarok card in itself. Oh, interesting. I'm just gonna play some crappy cards. So he's convinced that he has the edge in a long round. Interesting. He could be right. I did lose games to Kavite before, but not if I have a good hand. And although I did use Antebear, but I'm holding a, an okay hand now. Mugros would be good. I suppose we just try to improve the hand. That's an improvement. That's an improvement as well, as long as it doesn't die. Another game? 
another German Japanese collaborations. I like where this is going. <laughs> what? Look at that! He's gonna draw a card. I got a card too. Am I missing something here? <laughs> Smokey, what's up? The first was a little questionable. You know you can pass and just get extra mulligans. Oh! I get it. So, his first move is to make something immune right away. What a tricky bastard. Like it. No! Much mulliganing freedom here. Wow. Very tricky guy. But what's gonna be immune? Serious sprint. I can't kill that. But it's just gonna play into my Ragnarok now. And it's gonna be a long round, so... Sure, let's do it. This guy from a long round? <laughs> yeah. Sure. We can't shut that down, because it's immune. But if he doesn't shut me down, I'm gonna get some points too. Let me take my notepad. But the thing is, that really wouldn't work so well. Fuck me. Uh, I'm just gonna move it back. I think. That's too too many points. Uh. Okay. Nanda. I kind of want to move that in the back. Uh, let's do it. <gasps> Card advantage. Well, that was kind of costly. I look at the garbage he's playing. I'm not sure if it's worth it. Maybe he just wants to guarantee uh, the last say. And he has so much stuff in the back that he just has to play in the front right away. But this is interesting. He, he did something new. Zero respect given to the smuggler. Elf and Elfmeister, now that one is very respected. Sure. Uh, I guess we're gonna play the fog loop first. You you guys said that it's it's apparently falling group, but it says fog group, so what the hell? Just move the other cards out of the row. What? No, it's not gonna work. It wouldn't work. It would just play stuff next to it. What could that be? He's playing complete garbage. Other than this tricky play of like immune series sprint. You're just playing complete garbage. I know it seems okay for now, but I got a double crushing trap coming up. Two pitfalls is gonna be good. Uh, it's only gonna be... well, it's gonna be two crushing. This must be Shoop Nilfgaard. That's actually a fairly useful card.
That's a pretty big tree. He needs to play in the front or he's just gonna get murdered. Annoying. Okay, double crushing. Gonna be one hell of a tree. He has the last say, but... Unless he has a card that's not in the game, I don't see how he's gonna win it. Think about how, how to play this. I think we hit the Nausicaa Feld the bell before. And we move one of our guys to the back. Although this is kind of acceptable. This is just an extra insurance. We can also move that one. Tough game! He didn't even play his last card! He remained the secret! I wanted to see his last card. It must have been awesome. Well played.